How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Destiny 1 video. We are again on the beautiful planet Mars. And also I can blink. We. I know I started my last video with a massive thank you, but I I just need to say it again. The past week or so on Xbox alone, I've received over 100 messages from you guys. So many wonderful people, so many kind messages. I love bumping into you guys while I'm trying to do these bounties. I know you guys are too, or just playing Destiny 1 just to play it and get that nostalgia feeling again. It's really cool to see so many of you guys back on Destiny 1 and having a great time. Some people messaging me saying it's their first time playing Destiny 1 and it's thanks to my videos. It's... it's it's like, me? I just open packages and make sarcastic comments. Even the people saying they're checking the game out again after a few years. It makes me happy to see you guys are still enjoying yourself on this game. And thank you for the wonderful support. So here we are back on Destiny 1 again. More packages are open, more crucible shenanigans, you name it. I'm still waiting for the week that every single one of my bounties is a horrible weapon. Not a trials weapon, not an iron banner weapon, not even a half decent rolled weapon. I'm waiting for that day and that could be today. One of the best sights to see in Destiny 1 is a row of bounties ready to hand in. Wait a minute. What? What's that sound? Could it be? Raid Shadow Legends? You bet it is! You guys have surely already heard of Raid Shadow Legends, no? You know, the turn-based RPG in which you collect a ridiculous amount of champions and assemble a badass team to fight full-on bosses, take on challenges, or even battle other players? It's incredibly easy to get into this game, and the graphics are ridiculous for some that you can play on your phone. The champion I chose to start with is Kale, mainly because he obliterates everything in his path with his attacks, plus his cool outfit just reminds me of my incredibly good warlock fashion sense. Right guys? No? Well anyway, it has over a million people on every day playing, super easy game to get into whether you're solo or want to play with other people, highly rated on every app store, over 20 million downloads, plenty of videos on YouTube of guides to help you start playing with a warm and welcoming community. Check out the links in the description if you're new and want to try. Using those links you will receive upon signing up 100,000 silver and a free champion, Lightsworn. And your loot will be found in the inbox on your main screen, you can't miss it, easy stuff. And this offer is only available for the next 30 days and only for new players so be sure to take advantage of it while you can. Starting this game and having Light Swarm, I'm telling you right now, you'll have a great time. Like I said, links are in the description. Massive thank you to Raid for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys as well for allowing me to be in this position in the first place. It, it means the absolute world to me, so thank you so much, truly. So if you're new around here and don't understand what's going on, obviously I'm currently at the tower and what I do is I pick up the Shax bounty that he has weekly and also the main portion, the Crucible Quartermaster bounties, which are also weekly. The bounty that Shax gives out is usually to do with game modes, play 7 clash matches, get 50 kills, stuff like that. And the drop rate from this package you get is a pretty decent chance of exotics, trials emblems and also <laughs> usually a stack of strange coins. So like I said, obviously these are the main bounties because from the Quartermaster bounties you can get Iron Banner weapons, trials weapons, weapons of course that you cannot get anymore. I started doing this little series about 3 years ago now and I, while I've not done it every week, it's a fun time to get some new weapons potentially and go into Crucible, get some cool rolls as well. You guys seem to love these videos, so thank you very much for the support as always. As pretty as Mars is, I think we need a change of scenery. Much better. The OG Cosmo drone, it doesn't get any better than this. You guys seem to enjoy last time when I spammed in the bounties rather than handing one in, then talking about it, then going back to these bounties. Uh, I'm going to spam them all in again. Apart from the Shacks one, I feel like we're going to get an exotic again. Uh, or not. This week we have auto rifles, scout rifles, sidearms, snipers, and of course heavy weapons. I mean with the sniper rifle one alone, I know a lot of people are always after the winged word. Scout rifle, the burning eye, I... Wow, I wish the burning eye was in Destiny 2. And auto rifles, obviously the doctrine of passing. Let me know if you guys are still after any of these weapons. Let's see if I can make people angry by getting the weapon they want by spamming in these bounties. <laughs> I, I apologize in advance, but also I might get nothing. I might get horrible weapons. Auto rifles. Scout rifles. Sidearms, sniper rifle, and heavy weapon. Okay, <laughs> I deserve that. Not a single Trolls or Iron Banner weapon at all. Could this be it? Could this be the week I get nothing? Oh wait, hold on a minute. Hack on Satchit's Iron Banner. What am I on about? Slow it down there, Jacob. I know you're right in the comment right now. You can stop. See, focus fire. Focus fire on auto rifles. I just want to use the Suros. Every time I see the perk, it just makes me want to use the Suros regime. Hack on Satchit. We have third eye, perfect balance. Feather Mag, Rifle Barrel, and Focus Fire. I always felt with Third Eye, once you have the artifact, you can just, you don't really have much use for Third Eye. Then again, by that point, especially for Trolls, most people using Scory's Memory, was it called? Where if you're close to your teammates, your supers regen faster, you know what I mean. I'm not 100% about how Focus Fire is on a pretty high rate of fire auto rifle. Lot of stability though, so that's decent. The last extremity, probably the ugliest scout rifle in the game. If you disagree with me when I say that, Shush. Well, that's your opinion, Henny. Look, refer to earlier. Shush. We have Firefly, Danger Close, Single Point Sling, Casket Mag, and Icarus. Icarus on this thing. So usually with weapons, I try to think of both sides, like PvP and PvE. So to make this work, I mean, you have Firefly, or maybe if you use Danger Close, so you have to be, like, hovering quite a lot to make 
advantage of Icarus. And if you go over increased magazine size, you have less stability than bungee servers. Well, I flattened danger. I mean, it looks to me like a pretty bad roll. I don't know, you guys let me know. Havoc Pigeon, a fan favorite by far. Speed reload, quick draw, appended magazine, Relentless Tracker and Last Resort. And no, I'm not going to do the Papa Roach meme again. D don't worry. That would really cut my life into pieces. Oh, I'm not funny. It might not apply to this weapon in particular, though, but Last Resort might apply to scout rifles, pulse rifles, auto rifles and stuff for PvE. I don't know how utilized Last Resort is for that PvE sort of thing, like soloing a Nightfall or something. I have no idea. 2020 AMR7. Looking at security camera scope. Awful. If you snipe with that, I'm honestly, credit to you. We have Mulligan, first of all. Do you know what they should do with Mulligan? They should add a sniper to Destiny 2 with, like, a buffed Mulligan. So if you miss a shot, you'll guaranteed that bullet back. I'm joking, by the way. I know that's I know that's already a thing. Don't worry. Armor piercing rounds, hand laid stock, quick draw, and life support. Doesn't look great to me. Ever since someone told me Mulligan is decent on rocket launchers, my perk knowledge has been in tatters. Doesn't look good to me, but it does have short gaze. I feel like most of the time you could do well with a sniper rifle so long as it has short gaze on it and nothing else. Still Oracle, I have about a thousand of these. Right away we have clown cartridge, perfect balance, flared maggle, javelin, and life support again. Could be much worse. I don't really mind clown cartridge. And lastly, something wicked. Is it usually something wicked? Wicked. No. Cluster bomb, I mean, could be good. Perfect balance, javelin, grenadier, and army of one. See, it's not bad. Yeah, it definitely could be much worse. Well, so far, so not good. However, we have two more characters. We're not giving up. To the Titan. You guys are in for a treat because we have an additional package to open here. A treasure of ages. I can barely contain my excitement right now. Wiggly Leg Dance and Bad Dream. Oh, that is a fancy emote. Don't I look spooky? You know, there's an extra thing I can do to make myself look really intimidating and scary here. If you stand back here, there you go. Now people who spawn in are gonna be petrified. Yeah, that's right, you're scared. Look at you. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, he's got... <laughs> I think this time we should go with a Shaxx Bounty last and just spam these in once again. Auto Rifle. Scout Rifle. Sidearm. Sniper. Heavy. It's looking like two more Iron Banner weapons, if I'm correct. Yeah, so we've got the Distant Star. Very underrated scout rifle, by the way. Anti-podal hindsight. Oh, I don't like this either. But what's it with Icarus on weapons today? Icarus, speed reload, feather mag, rifled barrel, and rangefinder. There are birds outside, and they are loud. I have an auto rifle with Icarus. Shut up. If it weren't for Icarus, this would have been a bit more interesting. Because like, you can get almost max reload and also rangefinder. It's not bad at all. Do I call 90% of weapons not bad? Maybe. But this ain't. It's got Icarus. Look, we can't all be cami cakes. I, I can't do that. I want to check out this distant star here. So usually these have pretty decent perks. Love me Zen moment on a scout rifle. We have Zen moment, Firefly, full auto, high caliber round, small bore, and ord frame. Is that max reload? Yes, it, like, you guys can see. That's max reload. Don't know why I'm obsessed with max stats. It just looks cool. The event horizon. I think I get these like every other package opening. It has to be like at least a year since I've gotten a winged word. Firefly, quick draw, snapshot. Ooh. Underdog and life support. See, I like the quick draw snapshot little combo there. Obviously, you can't use them both at once. I've never had like a solid god roll sniper on Destiny 1. I look for short gaze, and, and really, that's it. I could have sworn we just got a habit pigeon on our warlock with the exact same roll. Am, am I. What? Speed reload, quick draw, a pen and magazine, relentless tracker. Oh no, it's not. Okay. It was last resort last time, not surrounded. Okay. So it's almost the same. <laughs> Tor mods bellows. Of course, an iron banner rocket launcher. We have vacuum, increases the pickup radius of ammo drops for this weapon. Perfect balance, heavy payload, javelin, and grenadier. See, heavy payload and javelin are nice, but I wish that maybe heavy payload was there and I could just use javelin and heavy payload at once. But no, grenadier. I used to call grenadier grenadier. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Do have hard launch though? Lastly, and potentially least the Shax bounty. Let's see. Thanks, Shax. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Last resort in Hipfire? What is this abomination? <laughs> this guy's following me and I, I just noticed him, so I'm a bad person. I'm very sorry if you've been dancing there for ages. I've been handing in bounties. You understand, right? Anyway, I have a blue engram. I'm going to see if that's going to be my best loot out of this whole thing. Cryptid engram. I mean, we have a chest first. Oh, wonderful. The special weapon is what we're here for. They don't make these anymore. Yeah, I wonder why. And once again, so far, so still not good. But we have one more character. Last character. Hunter, you can really save me here. It's been a bit of a shocking package opening so far, so hopefully you can save it. Shax, what you got for me? Lucky Raspberry. I mean, it's cool to see an exotic I've not seen in a while. I don't think I've ever used this in my life. I mean, I'm using the, you know, double trip mine exotic right now, so that's the sort of player I am. Don't get me started of how good I am with trip mine grenades. You don't want, if you come across me, all I'm saying is good luck to you. Come on, the luck's turning around here. Five bounties to hand in. Let's bring some positivity here. All the rivals as always. Hack on hatchet again. I mean, is it, I'm, I'm surely I'm meant to use this thing. Scout rifles, Colovance's duty, Iron Banner one. Very good scout rifle. Anton's Rule, 
The Laughing Heart. I've not seen that in a little bit. And Heavy Weapon is a small. I mean, why? All right, first of all, the Hackles Hatchet. We have Surrounded, Lightweight, Feather Mag, Reinforced Barrel, and Hot Swap. I think the previous roll I had from the first character is much better than this. I'm thinking from a PvP perspective, but if you're close to three enemies in Destiny 1 Crucible, a you're not living for that long. Relevance is duty. We have Gorilla Fighter, a disgusting weapon to head glitch with, I'll tell you that much. Field Scouts, Injection Mold, Old Frame, and Life Support. Definitely more of a sit back and pick people off sort of scout raffle. The Anton's Rule, which last time I sucked with. Range Finder, Fitted Stock, Casket Mag, Zen Moment, and Crowd Control. That is one of the best rolls I have. I don't know, would you guys go with Fitted Stock or Casket Mag for more magazine size? I'm gonna guess mag size, because, I mean, yeah. Crowd Control and Range Finder's great. The Laughing Heart. Now, I remember when these weapons first came out, wasn't the biggest fan of the scopes, I have to say. Hidden Hand, Life Support, Armor Piercing Rounds, Lightweight, Handlaid Stock, Injection Mold. Linear Composite Accra. I mean, I don't really know what the best sight is. I don't even know what you could say with this sort of sniper. Lastly, we have the Smolder. Horrendous green color. I'm very sorry, Seattle. Vacuum again. Vacuum and Icarus, honestly. Vacuum, Quick Draw, Heavy Payload, Javelin, and Last Resort. Stop giving me Last Resort. It's not been the best week, has it? It's not been great. I mean, ultimately, it's it's a pretty poor week. I've got a general idea of what weapons I want to use today, so I'll be a second. All right, listen up. This is what we got. We have the Hakon's Hatchet. I feel like we can do pretty good with this. It's got a lot of stability, decent fire rate, even though it's going to have focus fire, but still, I think it could be really good. And also, we're going with a 2028 AMR7. I don't use it enough. And we have the short gauge scope, so you know what? It's good enough. We're going to give it a proper try. Does that mean I'm still going to be body shotting everyone? Absolutely. Do I care? Absolutely not. Also, going to be using the Memory of Raid Ghast. Gain the ability to reflect energy based projectiles when guarding with a sword. So basically every time there's heavy ammo we're going to try and get some sword ammo and def hopefully deflect some rockets, some supers maybe. I mean I doubt it'll work but let's see. This mid game? Oh yes it is. Oh Bannerfall. They should put this map in Destiny 2. Listen it's a joke. I'm, I'm not serious okay? See the idea behind this auto rifle I had is obviously it's a pretty high rate of fire auto rifle but obviously scoped in it's much lower because of the perk. So my thought was maybe it could be good. Like a, a little... I mean we traded with a machine gun. This could be a recipe for disaster. There we go. If I had a sticky grenade, I'd push that. We're gonna go for it anyway. Kill the main perpetrator. <laughs> yes! I might die. I'm definitely gonna die. No! Okay. Oh no, I can't push that. I'm pushing it. Oh, he's a fan. Hello. I think he's a fan. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume if he does that. Oh, hello! Wait, there's a guy behind you! I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, there's more people. Oh, just about killed him. Stick! No, I missed the stick! <laughs> you know it's bad when you miss the stick from about two feet away. What the? Hey! Team, I got you. I got you back. Can you get any snipes off? No, this flinch! Oh, the Talaluk. Hey, watch my video on that if you haven't already. Just self-promoted myself. Excellent. Oh! You're telling me I survived that? You know, there's a lot of dying going on in this game. It's not, uh, it's not crisp gameplay. Look at the range on this bad boy. No, stop, <laughs> stop dabbing. <laughs> Blossom, I can't be having that. You know, this thing is good so long as no one else sees me and shoots me first. Then it's great. Like, this situation is great. Okay, maybe not. Oh, oh, he stuck me, I'm dead. <laughs> I think I might have made a mistake using this auto rifle, but I'm not giving up. <laughs> That's a lot of messages. Blossom messaged me. I had a practice game before this, and it looks like some other people did as well. I'll reply to you, don't worry. I'm just trying to record some gameplay. Like, I'll get back to you, I promise. Okay, jokes aside, I would like to see this map on Destiny 2. Getting the B flag is the ultimate risk on this map. I'm going to win this fight. I don't care about your tea bag and tactics. Look, we've got short gaze. I've got everything I need for a snipe. Is someone waving at me again? Okay, hold on. Hello! Hi, I'm just trying to snipe someone real quick. Give me a second. No, 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 the body shot. If you've made it this far in a video, can you please comment, Heli, please don't try and snipe again. I also at least want to try and deflect some supers or some grenades. Hi. <laughs> this match feels like a lighthouse game. Oh God, I'm being chased. I thought that was a headshot. I'm so sad. I have a secret ingredient. Weapons of light. Can this make it any better or am I still going to get three tapped? Not much better. Another A. Hey, this is my bubble zone. Look, I'm going to run away from you. Look, you can have the place. No! No! <laughs> it's got his perfect. Look, I stuck him with a grenade. I showed him a great disrespect. 
What the? What's going on over here? Oh, that's a go with the hawk moon. Oh, just about survived. Every single one of my kills has been like just on the on the brink of death. It's almost like life support would have helped with this auto rifle. I'll have one more match because that was, I mean, gameplay wise, it was terrible. <laughs> So I went to switch to the Iron Banner Scout Rifle and I didn't have enough Relic Iron and Destiny Art Manager is currently down. So I um, I took it upon me to collect Relic Iron. <laughs> Just so I can get this final upgrade. That, that's it. <laughs> that That's all. Proper dedication. Also going with Mayhem because, well, I want to get a deflecty kill with my sword. You tell me that body shot didn't kill him. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> we got a golden gun kill. <laughs> Excellent news. I mean, I was waiting to rush their heavy ammo over there. Maybe I'll get a multi-kill, but you know what? A golden gun reflection I'll happily take. Am I about to get... Oh, no. Hold on a minute. Wait. wait. Oh. More ammo? Sweet. Hello. <gasps> yes. No. no! <laughs> he threw it on my feet. Block him. Block him. Block him. And walk away. Peacefully walk away. How am I alive? I don't know. <laughs> How am I alive? What, what just happened? I just backed up into people. No, 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 no. I got you. I got you. <laughs> still alive, still. Still alive, still. My English is fading. Right, the plan is to grab this and immediately die. Oh, treasure of ages. You know what? We might as well open it up. Once again, a treasure of ages for the final thing to open of the video. Ah, two silver dust and a magenta chroma. Thanks. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Destiny 1 video. Every time I make a Destiny 1 video, it's just, it's so easy to make because it's such a fun time. Especially when I play with you guys and, or even against you. The fact that this game still has population is just amazing. Thank you so much for the support on these videos as well. If you did enjoy them, please do leave a like. As always though guys, thank you so much for watching. You're wonderful people. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.